Words are like seeds. When you speak something out, you give life to what you're saying. If you continue to say it, eventually that can become a reality. Whether you realize it or not, you are prophesying your future. And this is great when we're saying things like, I'm blessed, I'm strong, I will accomplish my dreams, I'm coming out of debt. That's not just being positive, you are prophesying victory, prophesying success, prophesying new levels. Your life will move in the direction of your words. But too many people go around prophesying just the opposite. I never get any good breaks. I'll never get back in shape. Business is slow. I'll probably get laid off. Flu season is here. I always get it. They don't realize they are prophesying defeat. It's just like they're calling in bad breaks, mediocrity, lack. If you want apples, you have to sow apple seeds. If you want oranges, you can't plant cactus seeds, poison ivy seeds, mushroom seeds. You're going to reap fruit from the exact seeds that you've been sowing. In other words, you can't talk negative and expect to live a positive life. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk lack, not enough, can't afford it, never get ahead, and expect to have abundance. If you have a poor mouth, you're going to have a poor life. Many people don't realize with their words, they're cursing their future. Every time you say, I never get any good breaks, you just cursed your life. I'll never be able to afford that nice house. I'll never break this addiction. I'll never meet the right person. No, stop cursing your future. Sometimes the enemy doesn't have to defeat us. We defeat ourselves. Pay attention to what you're saying. Are you blessing your life? Or are you cursing it? I had a classmate in high school that was always very negative. Every time I asked him what was going on, he had this standard answer. He would always say, not much. I'm just getting old, fat, and bald. I heard him say that probably 500 times. I know, he's just kind of kidding, but I wouldn't kid about that. <laughs> he was one of the stars on our football team, always in great shape, had this thick curly hair. About 15 years later, I ran into him at the mall. When I saw him, I nearly passed out. He had prophesied his future. He looked old, fat, and bald. Friends, don't speak that defeat over your life.